No trip to Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport is complete without a visit to the Planetarium. Planetarium Director Adam Thans joins us this morning to preview some upcoming stellar events happening at Bays Mountain Park. Thank you for being here today. Thanks for having me. I was telling you, my family loves coming up there and we love just, you know, the walking and the, and the mm -hmm. animals and everything, but the Planetarium is such a special treat when we get to go up there and see a program. Talk to us about what's coming up uh, this winter and spring. Okay, uh, in the Planetarium Theater, we actually have two shows running right now. Uh, our main show, which will run for the next three and a half months, is entitled The Hot and Energetic Universe. It's a program that looks at high energy objects out in space. Uh, things like uh, black holes right. or quasars, uh, things like that. Anything that will light up the night sky, <laughs> just about. But uh, these these are, you know, we, we hear terms like black holes, we hear quasars, but this fleshes it out for folks that may not know this is a great learning experience as well. Yes, the purpose of Bays Mountain Park mm -hmm. is that not only is it a nature preserve, right. but it's also an educational facility. And so all of our programs, whether it be nature or planetarium, are educational in nature, but we try to have a lot of fun with it. And you're talking about the the, the skies over us. Uh, you know, it's been rather cloudy and rainy and everything, but the skies over us during the winter are a great time to get out and and and, and take in nature itself there as well. Yes, and our other main show right. is entitled Appalachian Skies Winter. It's the winter version of our Appalachian Sky Tour, which is basically mm -hmm. a, a tour of the night current night skies. So as the Earth orbits the sun, right. we see a different part of our evening sky. Uh, and so right now, uh, Orion the Hunter, which is a very um, e easily recognizable constellation, is rising in the east right now. But within the next uh, few months, it's going to be getting higher and higher in the sky. So we'll talk about constellations, sky lore, and specific celestial objects that people can find in, say, a pair of binoculars or a telescope. But just to, it's a, a true live program, and it's totally live for that uh, show. And, and we're looking at some pictures right now. This is the inside of the planetarium we're looking at right now. Very comfortable seating, state of the art as far as the lighting and as far as the sound and everything goes. Yes, um, we have a very unusual theater for where we are. Typically for our region, it should be a much smaller theater. Right. Uh, ours is a 40 foot diameter dome. 102 seats, but um, it's what counts is the equipment in the middle and the people running it. So in the center is that star projector right. that you see. Uh, that is a Carl Zeiss star projector where each individual star is projected by a fiber optic. The faintest stars are the tiniest right. that are projected on the dome, so small that they will fall through the perforations in the dome which is uh, maybe like one and a half millimeters wide, the perforations, right. that those tiny stars can fall through those holes. Right. That's how realistic the star images are on the dome. And That's it's incredible. stunning. Uh, we're one of a few dozen planetariums in the world that have that particular instrument. Now, coming up this summer, we have a very special celestial event that's happening. Yes, Tell we do. Tell us about the eclipse. Yes, a total solar eclipse. Uh, this is a rare event. Mm -hmm. It can happen, it basically happens uh, about every other year or so, but it's on different parts of the world. And you have to be in the right path, the right place on Earth to see it at the right time. And we're looking at the path of it right now. Yes. Now you can see um, North America. Right. And you see that red line. Right. And you also see uh, the blue, uh, kind of a faded section with the blue line surrounding it. Right. Those, what those are showing are the two types of shadows from a solar eclipse. Now a solar eclipse, by the way, is when the moon travels in front of the sun. sun. And if you are not in the direct path, but off to the side, you're in one of those shaded areas, you'll see a partial eclipse, only part of the sun blocked. If you are on that thin red line, and by the way, that red line is not to scale. Okay. That red line is far larger than it should be. <laughs> um, then you see the moon and the sun and yourself perfectly aligned. Wow. To see a total solar eclipse. And it's it's that line is close to East Tennessee, Southwest Virginia. But, yes. But we're to the side a little. We are. Right. We are about two and a half hour drive away. Okay. And so because of that, um, Bays Mountain Park, we, w what we're doing is that we're providing an event 
an excursion, an experience to see this event. Um, it is, uh, you do have to pay ahead of time and right. register. We have two charter buses, uh, motor coaches set. There's 112 seats, and when they're sold out, they're that's gone. it. Right. And uh, we are not only going to see the eclipse, but we're also going to a very special astronomical uh, research center that has giant radio telescopes. It's a very unique place, and it's actually going to be on the path. Right. And of course, fabulous meals are included right. with it, and uh, we'll have telescopes with proper solar filters right. and so on right. uh, with that. We're also going to have a new show that we're actually finishing production right now called Totality, which will start in April. And it's all about the eclipse. All right, very good. Adam Vance, thank you so much for driving down and joining us today. It's so fascinating. I love Blaze Mountain. Love yeah. the planetarium as Excellent. well. Thank you. You need to get your family involved in the planetarium as well. So many activities happening there. Bays Mountain Planetarium, there's all the information you need about so many things going on up there this winter and spring and summer as well.